<clears throat> Alright, Shalom, Shalom. Of course, before we begin, we want to give all praises and all glory, glory and all honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakat Kadash. Double honors unto our elders and apostles of Great Millstone, the men who rule well. Alright, the men who taught us the truth of the Holy Scriptures. Alright. And uh, sincere Shalom, Mubarakim, peace and blessings, Allah uh, Bakariyam, Yasharallah, to the elect. Alright, of Israel. Okay? And, uh, you know, Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father. All right. Uh, Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Ba'asham means in the name. Racha Kodash is the Holy Spirit, which is the volume of the book. Okay. So, uh, basically going in on a topic today, you know, Lord willing to the Spirit. Uh, you know, faith, you know, uh, comes by hearing. All right. So, um it should, uh, that should motivate you to, to, to move, all right, to get this word, all right, while you can, okay, because, uh, right now, recently, you know, um, you know, pages, uh, brothers' pages, man, big pages, uh, were getting taken down, man. Constantly. Mm -hmm, constantly, and, you know, one thing that, uh, the main topic is that faith cometh, comes by hearing, all right, so your faith gets, you know, built up by hearing the words of Yahweh Hashem so we're gonna let the scripture speak. All right, Lord willing, through spirit, you know, we can edify. All right, go ahead. This is um, in the book of Romans 10 and 17. Mm -hmm. So then the faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of the Lord. Yeah, exactly. So by hearing the words, that's how, that's how your faith, you know, it gets built up. All right. Of course, faith is a gift, like the scriptures say. All right. But it comes by what? Hearing the words of Yahabashim Yahabashim Shai. All right. Because, um, you know, you see the uh, the elders and apostles teaching and you see brothers teaching, uh, your faith gets built up because they break it down to you. They make it, they make the scriptures plain upon tables unto you and they make it, uh, they simplify it for you, okay? So for you, all right, to, to get the breakdowns, someone has to break it down to you, man, all right? Point blank, period. You can't just pick this up and then just start reading it and then everything is going to make sense. No, someone has to break it down to you, okay? All right, so let's... Um, Isaiah. Yeah, go ahead, go to Isaiah. Mm -hmm. This is the book of Isaiah 55 and 6. Mm -hmm. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Mm -hmm. Call ye upon him while, while he is near. Yeah, and right now the Lord is near because uh, not only is there videos going up 24-7, and brothers have backup, backup pages, all right, but we're just letting you know right now he's near, all right, brothers have backup pages, and the men of the Lord are still out there prophesying, all right, but you can already see out in California, it's not like that right now, mm -hmm. you know? You can't just go out like how we can over here right now on the East Coast and the Midwest and uh, South, uh, Southwest, Southeast, all right, of America, man. You got brothers that are teaching right now, obviously still on the streets, okay, because right now the Lord is still near. He's still giving that ability for uh, people to seek Him, all right, to, um, you know, easily at that, okay? So uh, read it again. Yep. Again, Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Yeah, while he may be found. Because right now, that, that lets you know that there's going to be a time where you're not going to be able to just freely get this word, man. You're not going to be able to freely hear the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, because one day there's not going to be videos. One day we're not going to be out there. All right, because the Lord is going to set it up like that. Yeah. All right, and that's a prophecy known as a, you know, that's the famine of the word. Okay, which we're going to get that in a second. But it says... In Isaiah 55 and 6, call ye upon him while he is near, all right? Because right now, like I mentioned, you can still go and watch videos. You can still get the breakdowns. If you come up to the camps, you will still answer your questions, all right? As long as it's not a silly question, okay? The Lord is still near unto his people right now. His his uh, uh, The doors of mercy and repentance are still open, okay? Go ahead. Uh, uh, this is a quick piece of this yeah. Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, uh -huh. while the evil days come not. Yeah, while the evil days come not, because there's going to be a point in time where the days are just going to be bad. Evil means bad time, all right? Eve is time, ill means bad, all right? There's going to be a point in time where there's going to be plenty of evil, way more than now upon the earth, to where you won't be able to go out and get this word, all right? The Lord wants the sincere ones to seek him now. All right. Mm -hmm. So while the evil days come not is when you should seek uh Yahweh Shai. All right. You should seek him by you seek him by what? By getting into these words, man. All right. Learning of his ways. All right. That's what we mean when we say seek the Lord. You know. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah. It says uh, 
It says, while the evil days come not, mm -hmm. nor the years draw nigh, when I shall say, I have no pleasure in them. Yeah, that's why I said, uh, seek to create in the days of thy youth, you know, in your prime, so to speak, all right, while you still can, ultimately, yeah. because um, there's going to be a point in time where, you know, for example, when Esau fully comes down with great wrath and is physically putting his hands on people, man, like on a, on a high level, all right, you know, uh, you're not going to be able to, we're not going to be out there, man. You know, we're not going to be out there prophesying because what, the, the, hey, the, the, that flood came in, man. All right. And that's where you don't want to get caught up at. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you have another one or? No, that was it. Next person. Come on. Go ahead. This is the book of Amos chapter, chapter eight, verse 11. Yep. And this is the prophecy I was <laughs> talking about. So, Salakia, so before we read it, mm -hmm. I wanted to say, you know, before the famine of the word, that is what the scriptures that we just read, that's what we should do, man. Okay. We need to, you know, hear the words of Yahweh Shem Shai, and we need to seek the Lord, okay? Because as an Israelite, man, that's your duty anyway, to to, to obey Yahweh Yahweh Shai, point blank, period. That's That was your reason for, for you to, to uh, exist, all right? To 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 obey the Most High, mm -hmm. to keep His commandments. Did you want to say something? Or? No, that, that's kind of the, you know, the point, you know, obedience is better than sacrifice, you know? Mm -hmm. Even then, that the precepts that we just got prior, that, that, those precepts were basically the take heat scriptures, you know, before, you know... S I cheat, uh, S H I T hits the fan. So to yeah, speak. You, exactly because, you know the uh, the the severity of not seeking the Lord right now is is you know, not doing it now because um, you know the scriptures say that um, those that sow in tears are gonna reap in joy, you know. So basically, you need to be sowing in what getting this wisdom, all right? Much wisdom, much grief, okay? So, you know that's why it's important to get this word right now, okay? Because Hey, we're going to get into it. Let's go ahead. Go ahead and get that. Sha. Yeah, this Amos. Is, uh, Amos, 8, <coughs> Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, said the Lord power, yeah. that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water. Yeah, so it's not going to be a famine. Uh, well, there's going to be, of course, a physical famine, but we're talking about a different one right now. All right? This prophecy is not speaking about that physical uh, famine of bread and water. All right? The physical food. Go ahead. It says... But of hearing the words of the Lord. Yep, of hearing the words of the Lord. There's going to be a point in time where for you to get the breakdowns, man, you're not going to be able to um, get it from YouTube anymore. You're not going to be able to get it from the streets. The only way you're going to be able to get it is if you're part of the elect and the Lord wants you to get it and you run into uh, one of his servants. Uh -huh. Okay, you run into one of the prophets, all right? And for that, you'd have to be of the elect, you know? Because that's who, at that, that, that time when, when we're not out there anymore... All right, when we're still, uh, when we're still gonna keep our garments, all right, Lord, will we be a part of that number? All right, only someone who the Lord wants to, uh, to give the word to is gonna get it. Okay, so basically, you know, Amos eight and eleven lets you know that there's gonna be a point in time where where you won't be able to freely get the word like how you can now. Right now, you can abundantly go and get the breakdowns. All right, mm -hmm. you can abundantly. Uh, uh, go and, and, and understand the deeper things of the scriptures, the basics. This was, of course, we want to start off with the basics, but you know, the point is that we can get right now, we can freely get the milk, we can get the um, the important, really, really important parts, all right? The faith builders, all right? Like we, like we mentioned earlier, uh, faith cometh by hearing, man, by hearing the words of the Most High. Mm -hmm. Okay, so go ahead. That was the point on the King verse 12. Uh, go to uh, the next scripture, go to James. Uh, this, is, um, this is the book of James. Mm -hmm. What's that? James one twenty one. This is uh, the book of James one verse twenty one. Yep. Wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness. Mm -hmm. Put away all those things. Okay. Put away you know put away wickedness. Go ahead. And it says and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls. Yeah. So humbly you know receive the words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. Because the only way that uh you you know you're going to be able to obtain this is uh by by being humble man all right and by you being humble you're going to be able to to hear you'll be able to listen and receive the word man and, and get your faith built up okay mm -hmm. so go ahead and get Romans 15 and 4 and yeah. Isaiah 33 and 6 all right because what how was this word going to help us well let's go ahead and get the scriptures yep this is uh Romans 15 and 4 yep it says for whatsoever things were written aforetime time were written for our learning. Yep, and mm -hmm. for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. So for us to be built up, we have to read. You know, we have to read the history and read the wisdom, read the things that were written aforetime, which is this whole role was written aforetime for our learning. All right, go ahead, finish it up. Mm -hmm. it says that we, 
through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Yeah, you see that? You the your hope that you have hope when you know of the scriptures. All right? You can only have hope when you know of Yahweh Shai, when you know uh, uh that that you've been doing the right things, all right? And how do you know that you're doing the right things? The only way you're going to be able to know if you're doing the right things is by reading the scriptures. Okay? And um, the most important thing that you need to realize is that the only way for you to be saved is by receiving this word. Alright? Because what? It said the engrafted word, like we read in James, engrafted word which is able to save your soul. Let's read about that. Let's read about how... Get Isaiah 33? Mm -hmm. Because what? Let's read about how um, the word... Basically, it's going to be... Well, we're going to let the scripture speak. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, this is um, this is the book of Isaiah 33 and 6. Mm -hmm. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Yep, wisdom and knowledge of, uh, of what, man? The scriptures. Mm -hmm. All right, wisdom and knowledge that Yahweh Hashem Yahushai gives you. Okay, by way of the, uh, uh, the scriptures, the rule. Okay, go ahead. And strength of, of salvation. Mm -hmm. And the strength of salvation. All right, this is, this is, this is our ticket out of here. Because in what? Receiving the word, you receive that exemption from judgment. All right, Ezekiel 9 and 4, that's the law. All right, you receive the exemption from judgment. You don't have to receive the condemnation that the rest of the world is going to receive. Romans 8 and 1. You know, when you're in Mashiach Yahushai. All right, go ahead. It says, uh, and strength of salvation, mm -hmm. the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Yep. So when you look um, real quick, mm -hmm. read, read it again. Yep. <clears throat> Isaiah 33 and 6 uh -huh. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times And when you go to the Hebrew The word there for stability uh, You know, I bring it out often Because it's very powerful The Hebrew word there for stability is Amawana The root uh -huh. word being Amawan, which is faith Okay? So that Amawana is that firmness, that fidelity Your faith Alright? So wisdom and knowledge is going to be your your, uh, your firmness Your fidelity in that times Wisdom and knowledge of the scriptures Romans 15 and 4 We just read it, alright? You're going to know the only way for you to be built up in this is reading uh, all the things that were written aforetime, time. So that, that, so that you can have the hope. Okay, mm -hmm. finish it up. Yeah, it says, in strength of salvation, mm -hmm. the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Yeah, the fear of the Lord is, is his treasure. The fear of the Lord, that is uh, wisdom. Okay? Yeah. That is what, like it says in Job 20, 28. But, uh, okay, so it? real quick, oh, I was going to say, no, it's so good. I was just going to say, because it says the strength of salvation. Okay, because what ultimately... Once you walk according to this to this word and the ways of, of the Lord, once you walk within that fear of the Lord, which is walking with that wisdom, all right, that's going to lead to your salvation. That's going to be your strength of salvation, all right? Like I mentioned, the exemptions from judgment, that's the law, man. All right, go ahead. Mm -hmm. get, your, get that scripture. Yep. Yeah. This is Ezekiel 14 and 20. Mm -hmm. Though Noah and though Noah, Daniel, and Job were in it, as mm -hmm. I live, saith the Lord power, they shall deliver neither son nor daughter, they shall but deliver their own souls mm. by the righteousness. Mm. You know, <laughs> and just like the brother brought out, and uh, you know, he made that point in Romans fifteen and four that what these uh, the men of old they were exempt from judgment. You mm. know, and it's that wisdom of the Lord, the faith, like the brother also uh, brought out. All right, in Isaiah thirty three and six, you know, the stability of that times. We actually believe we actually have confidence and belief in the words of the Lord yep. and our forefathers when when they were in similar uh, evil times and they were delivered. Mm -hmm. and that's the same thing. We're hoping to be exempt from the same judgment. The you know. Right. That's pretty much it. Alright, yeah. That's all the precepts. Mm -hmm. Alright, so Lord will, this video is edifying. We want to give all praises, all glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone men who rule well. The render taught us the truth of the Holy Scriptures, and a sincere shalom, Barakim, to the elect. Alright, shalom. Shalom.